what's up you guys so yes you've seen this look before because you know how I do it crank these videos out same look so you don't have to do it a different day so I am coming with another wig review for you guys today if you hear noise in the background again I'm babysitting my niece and nephew they're in there playing together so I want to shoot these videos out so if you'd like to see my next wig review please stay tuned so the wig that I'm bringing to you guys today is Model Model Lace Front Deep Invisible L Part Wig. This is the wig that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today. So I have this wig in two colors. I have it in the burgundy color. Then I have it in, what is this color I have? OH7, no. This is the color I have. I have it in Alpine Meadow 4. Her name is Lilam. Lilam? Yeah, so let's go ahead and try her on. I have some pros and cons about this wig already because I've already wore the one wig. So now I'm going to just give you the insights on the wig fresh out the box. So this is the box, okay? Of course, I'm taking it out. This is this wig is brand new. I have not worn this wig. This is my initial review of this color on me and everything. So sorry. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off of it. I'm having some issues right now. Okay. All the other stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the instructions. Okay, so yeah. Um, sorry. This is what she looks like on the person. Okay, so let's, I, you know, I didn't cut the lace off. I'll cut the lace off for you guys. <laughs> Just pull it back. Get as close to the hairline without cutting the hair. I'm not even sure if you can hear them, but I know that I can. So, just wanted to let you know that if you hear her or my nephew, it's because I'm babysitting. Mm Mm -hmm. I didn't get to do an initial review because I was going out of town and I need to do something with my hair. And that was a quick fix. Quick fix for my one and a half day get outing. Okay, so let me just go ahead and put this wig on. I haven't tweaked apart anything to this one. Okay, so I'm putting this wig on. So initially, the reason I got the wig is because it kind of just mimicked a sew-in, right? The curls and everything. The curls is just kind of like having a sew-in done to your hair. yeah that's that's initially that's the reason I got it okay so let me just go ahead and give you some perspective on this so I again I have this I have this wig I'll show you the, the these are the curls on the wig these are the ends 
to the focus on the wig, right? Now, I'm going to tweeze the parts to this wig just not at this very moment. I'm not going to tweeze it. Not at this very moment. I did tweeze it on the last wig. I may or may not get that wig out for you guys to see. But, okay. Let's get into the specs. Alright, so I initially got it because it has that that volume like a sewing would have right now the wig is much thinner than I would wear my sew-in much thinner but still very cute right uh, pros looks nice looks like a sew-in looks very very natural if when you pluck the part and you know make it your or make it your own stuff right very secure, doesn't pull back, that stuff. Cons. This part right here, this this right here, works my nerves. It irks my nerves. It doesn't like stay into place. You have to always continue to pull it back. Like so, it just doesn't stay out your way. Sorry. Um, it kind of doesn't stay out your way and stuff. Okay, and this value, cute, this cute bouncy stuff, it didn't even last two days. It started to nap and feel kind of heavy and stuff. And then the ends on my other wig, I've had to already clip it like twice because they started to mat really bad. It started to mat really bad towards the ends. My friend also has this wig and she's cut it basically to like this length because it was napping so bad. The under part here on my other wig, it naps up really, really bad. I just thought that you would at least, look, it's starting to tang already. You would at least get a week, a week to wear it or it's not, it's not like you wear it all the time. Like I took it off, I put it on the mannequin stand, all of that stuff and it still didn't keep its luster for like two days two days is what I got up this wig and this wig was like $44 where are they doing that at where are they doing that at it's a cute wig not if okay I would say for a temporary fix but it ain't even temporary it's like for two days two days you get like luster and it's real bouncy and it's doing all of that stuff and then two days I mm -mm, ain't doing none of that it's napping at the end. You gotta comb it all the time. It's it's like having a meeting together and stuff. So yeah, I would if I could take it back, I would. But I can't. So this wig from a scan to one to ten is like a three. A three. It's a ten in the way that it looks, the natural part the natural part of it and all of that stuff. But it's another wig, something like this. That I'm trying to find that my friend also has. She also has. She bought it from Sans Beauty. And she said the wig kind of looks just like this. And it lasts much longer. So I'm looking for that wig in particular. So if you know the wig that I'm talking about. Just leave it down in the comment box below. But yeah. Like who? It, it's such a pretty wig. I just wish that it would just last a little longer. Yeah. I guess that's all I'm going to say about this wig for right now. You'll probably see me wearing it on Instagram. If you follow me at SEB Hair Design on Instagram, you'll see me wearing the red wig. You'll see me wearing probably this wig and that bob. I'm definitely going to wear the bob. I'm hoping it's just not like model model wigs that kind of nap up really fast. I'm hoping not because they have like the best looking wigs. But the quality of the wigs, they don't last long enough. Even if it's a synthetic wig, you at least want to get a week out of it. Two weeks, maybe. For some some of the prices, two weeks, at least. So, I don't know. If anybody else has had this wig and hasn't had those issues, maybe it was just that wig. Maybe it's just my wig that I bought. But I'm sure it's not because this wig is already starting to tangle. And I literally just took it out the box. 
I'm just gonna go back into the box until I just am, I am in dire need of an like a hairdo. But yeah, so this is my specs on this wig. Pretty in the box. Pretty when you first put it on. Two days after, maybe not. So uh yeah, this is me SB style and I have come to you with this wig review. Tell me you guys what you think. Thumbs the video up, subscribe to my channel, and I love all the comments you guys are putting in the comment box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It will not be a wig review, I promise. See you later. Bye.